fine and safe at home. Okay, you also take care of your family. Okay, so seven, six standard. Take out your English textbook. English textbook seven, six standard. Yeah, let's revise once. We have started with our first unit. Do everyone remember this? Yeah, very good. So we have started with our first unit. Okay, your first poem is completed. Second and third lesson is also complete. Okay, so everyone are doing your homework. It's your workbook. Are you on recording the poem I told you? Yeah. Some of you are not doing your homework, so you should not do like this, children. Please do complete your homework and workbooks and time. Okay. Afterwards, it will be load for you only. So everyone, please complete your work. Okay. Complete your workbook. Whatever I am giving you, you just complete it all and be up to date. Okay, children. Now, as you are higher class students, you have more studies. So please concentrate in your studies. Okay, children. So today, let's come to the point. Today, I'll start with the fourth poem of your first unit. Okay. So tell me, what is the name of your fourth poem? Children's children are going to school. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Nice poem. Children are going to school. Okay. So this poem is written by. This poem is written by Nida Fazli. Okay. This poet. This poet has written this poem and he has translated from Bachche School Ja Rahe Hai. Okay. He has translated this Hindi poem into English. Who is the poet of this poem? Nida Fazli. Okay. So this is a translated poem from Hindi. What is the name of that? Bachche School Ja Rahe Hai. Okay. So in, in English what we will say? Children are going to school. So first of all before starting the poem, tell me children, are you all missing your school? Yes, very much isn't it? So uh, because of coronavirus that is COVID-19, we are not able to step out of our house, isn't it children? So, so we are not going to our schools now. So you are missing your school very much, isn't it? But you have to study, isn't it? You are not missing your studies, okay? You are not missing your education. Because we are teaching, the teachers are teaching you online, okay? So, you have to do your studies, you are only missing your school campus, okay? So, let's pray to God that soon we will come to school earlier, okay? So, this poem is all about children, okay? Like you all children are going to school, okay? How the nature is reacting to them, what all nature is happy or what how nature looks into the children who are going to school, okay? So this poem is translated by but how from where but che school ja rahi hai okay now everyone take out your textbook english textbook 6 standard and we'll start page number 10 everyone remove this page number 10 can you see here yeah page number 10 yeah all are with me let me start the poem first i'll read the poem then i'll explain you okay children are going to school morning light spreads over the earth. Once again, the sky goes his head in respect. For children are going to school. The sun, after his morning dip in the river, dressed up in his gold golden muslin turban, waits and smiles and one side of the road. For children are going to school. Through the green topped branches, Breezes sings their songs of blessings. Fragrant flowers awaken the sleepy roads with their melodies. At the corner of the lane, the people in his lush deep foliage waves his hands. For children are going to school. Angels of light have set up. Every road is a plane. At this hour, every particle of the earth drops like a mother's heart. Time, sitting on an old roof, flies pigeon in the sky. For children are going to school. Translated from Bajje School Ja Rahe Hai by Nida Fazli. Okay? So see, this poem is about, I told you that it is about children 
who are going to school. Okay. So see, the the poet is trying to tell us that morning light spread over the earth. So what happens? The sun set and again the sun rises. Okay. So morning has meaning here that it is brings positive energies and it children positive. So what it is doing that the sun rises. And it spreads all over light. Okay. So what it is telling? Morning light spreads all over the earth. When the sun rises, the whole earth is lighted up. Isn't it, children? When the sun rises, what happens? The whole earth is lighted up. Okay. With the light of the sun. Okay. Once again, the sky pulls his head in respect. Okay. So what the sky is doing? For, for the children are going to school. For so the children who are going to school. So what the sky does? Bows his head. Okay, how he is bowing his head like this? He is showing his respect. So nature is showing respect to the children who are going to school because nature is very happy that my children are going to school. Okay, you know children earlier it was not easy that we can go to school and we can take education, we can be qualified. It was not at all easy in early times, okay? Only, only rich people can go to school, but the poor could not go, okay? They used to sit at home, they used to do household work and, and the small boys also went to work with their father and mother, okay? So nowadays for you, education has become easy that all can go, all can afford education. Because government and NGOs, okay, have taken an initiative that all the people should be educated, okay. All the people should be literate. So, because God helps us, we all, we all of your parents are sending you to school. So, it's very easy for you, okay. So, what the nature is doing? The nature is very happy. What it's doing first? It's lighting up everywhere on its earth. And what the sky is doing? It is showing its respect by bowing his head, okay? It's just an imagination of this poet that the nature is showing. But when you see, when you go to school, the sun is rising, it's, it's lighting up all our roads. The whole earth is a full of light of sun and it's very nice, isn't it? So see what the poet is telling us that the morning light is spreading all over the earth. And what the sky is doing? The sky is showing respect to the children. Which children? The children who are going to school. Okay. The sun, after his morning dip in the river, dressed up in his golden muslin turban. What do you mean by muslin? It is a kind of soft cotton fabric. Okay. So what the poet is telling us is imagining again. The sun, when it rises, it is how, what he is telling? It is taking a bath in a river, okay? Then slowly it is rising. Have you ever seen how the sun rises? Very slowly, 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 isn't it? So, the sun, after his morning dip in the river means, the sun is bathing in river, okay? After that, it is, what it is doing? It is dressed up with a golden. How the sun looks in the morning, children? It's very golden, isn't it? Golden color, okay? So, it is telling that, the poet is telling us that the, the sun is taking a bath in the river and it's dressed up in golden. Okay. Waits and smiles on one side of the road for children are going to school. So what the sun is doing? After taking the bath, the sun is waiting. Okay. Where the sun is waiting? I'll show you. See, here the sun is waiting over here for you. Okay. Here the sun is waiting for you. Here the sun is waiting, okay, on one side of the road for the children who are going to school. That my children will come now. I have to smile at them, okay. How he is waiting? How the sun is waiting for us? By with a smiley face, isn't it? Then see the next para says, through the green drop topped branches, breezes sing their song of blessing. So what it is telling? The trees. Okay, the trees which are roadside, what they are doing? They have topped branches, green topped branches which very very tall tall trees have branches. What they are doing? They, when the small air, okay, breeze comes, how they are moving like this slowly, they are moving, isn't it children? 
how the trees are moving very slowly so what they are doing they are that breeze is singing a song okay for blessing for who who the children are going to school because the children are going to school okay so what it is doing it's moving slowly with the breeze okay it's singing very soft sound soft sound okay fragrant flowers awaken the sleepy road with their melodies what it is telling fragrant flowers okay the flowers bloom in the morning isn't it and they have very nice smell very nice smell okay so what they are doing the flowers okay the flowers bloom and they spread all over the nice smell nice fragrance and they are waking up the road wake up our children are coming now okay so get up okay so what they are doing melodies means songs okay children they are melodies means song with their melodies means fragrant flowers are waking up okay get up get up road come on this telling that get up our children are coming with a nice song okay at the corner of the lane the people in his lush deep foliage foliage is greenery okay children waves his hand so what it is doing in a corner of a road a people tree is standing over there have you all seen people tree yeah it's very big isn't it children looks very nice yeah when you see when you go to school when you come to a school you just see here and there there are many 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 people trees what so the poem poet is telling us the people tree is standing in corner of the road okay lane road it is standing over there and what it is doing waving his hands by by he is waving like this his hands that my children are going to school okay then for children are going to school so what the first the first the second standard says that the green trees okay the green tall trees they are moving with the breeze okay for the children are going to school then the flowers are blooming and spreading their fragrance and waking up the road because the the children are going to school and the people tree what that it is what the tree is doing it is standing in corner of a where it is standing in corner of a road and it's waving its hand for what for children are going to school angels of light have set out okay angels means they are messengers of god okay angels of light have set out means what the poet is saying over here angels are sun okay they are, it is set out means they are after setting the sun is set the sun again rises in the east isn't it so the god is sending his messengers okay the god is sending his messengers that my children are coming come on get up and rise fast so the earth will be full of light okay every road is a green green means shine brightly so what happens have you seen when you come in the morning the whole environment near you the whole surrounding near you is it in yellow orange isn't it why because of the rays of the sun how it is because of the rays of the sun because of the rays of the sun the whole the whole road or the whole surrounding is shining okay shining very brightly at this at this hour every particle of the earth throbs like a mother's heart so how your mother's heart is very transparent very clean isn't it she loves her children very much the same way at this time when morning okay the sun rises it's waiting that its children its children will go to school okay so all the environment is standing that we will help our children how to see how our children are going to school our mother feels very happy isn't it she is very transparent so all are waiting all are showering love for their children who are going to school time sitting on an old roof flies pigeon in the sky for children are going to school so the whole surrounding the whole environment okay the whole nature is very very happy because children are going to school okay children so all of you have understood this poem it's very short poem it's very easy it's related to you all how you come to school and how the sun rises usually you have morning school isn't it children at that time you can see how the environment is very fresh very nice isn't it by coming and going there are flowers blooming okay 
because of that blooming nice smell nice fragrant smell over there you are very happy with that the people tree you see it's very happy that my children are going to school the whole nature okay the whole earth is waiting for the children who are going to school okay this poem is just about that okay i told you and see here the three meanings are given over here muslim can you see page number 10 Muslin, a kind of soft cotton fabric, and second is foliage, greenery, leafy cover, and the last is a glint, shining bright. Okay, so these three meanings you have to write in your class book. Okay, children, and the rest of your workbook will be sent to you through your WhatsApp group. So everyone complete your workbook, learn this poem, see how you are understanding or not. Underline the hard words. Do in write ten times in your class book. Okay, write the meanings and the hard words. Learn the poem and also complete your workbook. Okay, children.